who is Larry Itliang? Larry Itliang is one of the greatest California leaders and heroes in the history of our state. Larry Itliang was a Filipino-American labor leader and social justice advocate for farm workers. He, along with Cesar Chavez and others, formed what is known today as the United Farm Workers of America. But so far, his place in history has not been told. California State Assembly member Rob Bonta wants to change that. He's someone who most of us haven't heard about, but we need to hear about. And he needs to be recognized and should be recognized for his great contributions to this state. So that's what AB7 is about. Assembly Bill 7 would establish October 25th of each year as Larry Itliong Day in the state of California. It would also require that public schools teach the story of Itliong and other Filipino-American farm workers and how Itliong's fight to get field workers paid the equivalent of a federal minimum wage turned into the historic Delano grape strike of 1965. Mark Grossman of the United Farm Workers Union understands the significance of Itliong's role in the struggle for equity and civil rights in California's fields. We observe another historic milestone in civil rights, and that's the beginning of the Delano Grape Strike, when heroic Filipino farm workers led by Larry Leong walked out on strike and then asked Cesar Chavez and his mostly Latino union to join their picket lines. Growers had historically used one race to defeat the other race's strikes. The strike leaders in Delano, Cesar and Larry, insisted that the two races share the same picket lines, Union Hall, Strike Kitchen. After five years of striking, the victory that resulted was a genuine testament to uh, racial solidarity between Latinos and Filipinos, a lesson that is as relevant today as it was back then. And a story that needs to be told as part of California's history. Filipinos are California's largest and fastest growing Asian American community. So it's only fitting that Assemblymember Bonta, who is California's first Filipino state legislator, would bring this part of our history to light. As with the Cesar Chavez holiday, uh, this bill really doesn't just recognize one person. It recognizes all the Filipino brothers whose courage and whose heroics in challenging and overcoming one of California's richest industry ennobled their lives uh, and in the process forged a farm labor movement in this state that uh, made America a better place. This piece of American history is also a personal story for Assemblymember Bonta, not just because he's Filipino, but also because his father worked with Cesar Chavez. When I was a young boy, my parents were farm workers with the United Farm Workers of America and we lived in the headquarters of the UFW movement, a special place, magical place called La Paz in the Tachipi Mountains outside of Bakersfield and there we lived in a trailer, my brother, my sister and I with my mom and my dad, they got paid uh, their five dollars a week for their service to the union and we lived 500 yards away from Cesar Chavez. My dad worked with Mr. Chavez, my dad set up health clinics throughout the state and in other states for farm workers to provide health care and it was very exciting and a great honor for me to have grown up in that atmosphere. And as a young student, Assemblymember Bonta found it strange that this part of California's story was not being taught in school. So today, he feels honored that he is in the position to illuminate that missing piece of history. After being overlooked uh, for so many years, after there being silence where there should have been voice for so many years, this is uh, very important to the Filipino-American community and a, and a source of great pride that the story of Larry Itliang will be told. This report was produced by the Speaker's Office of Member Services.